continuing my mine track into 1.8 land, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and lay down the rest of my material, and hopefully it'll make it there. I'm pretty sure that's the edge right there where that little, uh, little ridge is right there. So, yeah, hopefully it'll make it that far, and then I'll uh, see you after I've done that. There we are. Uh, looks like I've just made it with the amount of mine track I had. Fortunately, I've got enough materials back home to uh, make quite a bit more. So that's good news. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting into some ravines. And I mean, there's a river right there. So I guess that's one of the new features too. So, well, <laughs> new to me is, is uh, relative, I know. All you guys have been in experiencing that for quite a while, but I haven't, so there. <laughs> so, I suppose I should just start making this thing descend. Uh, gosh, actually, from here, I have no idea how to do that. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I remember one person recommended many episodes ago that I put a bucket of water right there, and then, excuse me, then I can... Uh, sort of fall down it that is that's a great idea <laughs> that's very clever I like that boom oh yeah boom am I underwater am I drowning or oh no I'm right on the edge of it okay yikes I better be careful whoo ah, ah, ah. there we go and then there we go <laughs> This is kind of tricky. Very useful though, not having to deal with making ugly scaffolding all the way up. Okay, retrieve. Dang it. <laughs> Covered a pretty good distance. Okay, and do it again here, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll do it on the side actually, so I don't have to worry about it getting covered up. <coughs> okay. Oh gosh, uh, it's pushing me away. Not exactly the easiest. Oh gosh, <laughs> not exactly the easiest thing in the world, but definitely preferable. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the rest of this, and uh, I'll just see you uh, when I'm done <laughs> okay very good huh it's a skeleton over there man I would absolutely love to find a skeleton spawner um, it's, it just seemed I don't know seems like I ought to be able to find one somewhere man is that a sheared sheep this guy's I think someone mentioned how when you shear sheep in uh 1.8 or something like that it stays they stay sheared like forever or something i guess that's a bug or just something they may have overlooked or something like that it's uh it's so unfair <laughs> here's another one so i guess i just gotta travel far to uh shear more sheep i suppose it seems uh i guess it's a good thing i'm not planning to cover the rest of my whole place in wool. All right, let me lay down the rest of the track I've got. I'm not sure if this will make it all the way down, but looks like it. Awesome. Well, that's good. We made it. <laughs> I guess now is time to Start doing some redstone stuff, or just torches and and uh, powered rail. Got plenty of gold now, so um, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to make it all the way back. Although making it, uh, making the cart run back uphill, uh, is going to take a whole lot more. Um, I've heard varying um, opinions on how many I need for that, so I'm just going to do some experimenting just to see what I need to do to get the cart to go back up because it would be nice to be able to, to ride it in both directions without uh, having to worry about it so 
But yeah, I'm going to just run the west, rest of the way here. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay. Uh, powered rail. Do I have any in my inventory? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, I've got five there. So... Uh, I did put... Okay, good. Yeah, I put my gold in there. Alright, let's see how many we can get out of this uh, chunk here. It's got ten... Five... Um, and then what do I... Ah, dang it. Gotta put redstone at the bottom. Dag nabbit. <laughs> okay. Oops. And then, uh, like muscle spasm. <laughs> All right. Okay, and sticks. All right, it makes six a piece. That's good. So. 35, that ought to do. <laughs> um, I'll just save this gold. Uh, just keep that around. Okay, now I need to make redstone torches. I'll go ahead and do that. So, um, let's see that 28. May as well make as many redstone torches as I've got powered rails since I'm going to actually need to power them, <laughs> of course. Make some more sticks. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to put this stuff back in here. Shouldn't need all that much coal. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I was saying it earlier. I got cut off by something or nothing or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, I would love to find a, a zombie or sorry, no, a, a, uh, skeleton spawner just so I can create some kind of trap. I've been looking forward to doing that, but, um, I don't really know the best way to find them. I guess it's just continuing, uh, exploring. So that's what I will continue to do. Put these saplings up and get some sleep. Okay. Yeah, you guys just let me know if all this um, cutting out of stuff is annoying you. I mean, when I'm not... Uh, there's my cart. Well, actually, I don't want to use my cart right now. Um, but when I'm uh, just like doing a monotonous task like that, I'm not like commentating or anything obviously because I know I'm going to be cutting it out anyway so you're not like missing anything so <clears throat> it's just a lot easier uh, for me just to be able to take breaks like that but let me know your opinions on it and everything I'm sure they will differ like anything else but uh, okay um, I guess I'll be able to test this so let me try maybe one every two blocks or, or leaving like a two block gap in between these and seeing if that if that'll work so and uh, I guess if I'm carrying momentum into this as I go then it should be good so if I roll if I roll in my minecart up and then it starts rolling back down will that uh, I don't know what if what that'll do like if it will just send me back down uh, and like with the powered rail or if it'll continue trying to push me in the same direction. These are the questions that I do not know the answer to. So let me put some blocks here so I can get these things powered up. There we go. If you have no experience uh, with redstone whatsoever, uh, then uh, basically these little things, redstone torches, are essentially like, I guess, batteries or whatever uh, that don't ever run out. It's just like a infinite source of power. And if you set it next to something like this that is powered, then uh, or that requires power, then it will switch it on. So 
I guess they haven't really programmed in like, you know, you don't have to create sources of power or anything like that. Although that would be pretty cool. I must admit if you had to like have a generator or I don't know, even like a little coal, just like use coal to make a power station or something like that. It'd be pretty neat. Although I guess I've heard of, um, maybe it's called like industrial craft or something like that. I'm pretty sure there's a mod that's geared a lot more for, uh, that kind of thing, like for power and stuff like that. So, okay. So let me try my little, little rail real quick and see how this works. So if I get in, pushes me up, up, up. Oh yeah. Awesome. All right. Now what's going to happen now? Is it, okay. It just accelerates me this way. Now let me hop out. Come back. <laughs> like it rocks like a boat. Okay, well that's good. I guess I'll only need probably two more of these, I guess, to accelerate me to the top. Okay, and then one, two, there we go. I'll just go ahead and and uh, do one thing at a time here. One, two. Oh, perfect. All right. That sort of, uh, yeah, it exactly matches. It makes it even. That's all I care about ever. <laughs> okay, and then make another little block here. I guess I hadn't done that yet. Okay, and uh, no, not regular torches, need redstone torches. Awesome. All right, um, as far as these go, I mean, this thing going down is definitely going to carry me enough speed, so I'm just going to like just sort of measure this out generally and probably just use eyesight and just see like how far it kind of looks and just try to make something that's like consistent or something like that. So, uh, ooh, need to eat. Awesome. Okay. Um, I think like I've got, I've got that sort of support rail over there, but I'm thinking, I don't think that's going to be quite close enough together. So I might place one sort of halfway uh, between these here. And that should be pretty good. I think that looks about right. Well, no, maybe a little closer to this direction. Okay, that looks about right. So get that one nailed down. I do hope this is going to be enough of these. I, I think it will be. Um, I mean, but the, <laughs> this, I don't know, the, the way that this rail has been going, it's surprised me how, f how uh, long it actually is. And I'm sure I'm going to get to that switch. He said on that one, very mature, very mature. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I've mentioned before, I'm going to make these supports all the way down the whole thing. That's definitely not something that I'm going to make you guys sit through because that's going to be super boring. So, <laughs> because this is so much better. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue on this way and probably call it for this episode. It's been going on a little, little while. So yep. Thanks very much for watching and commenting and everything. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.